come for this exchange of products, exchange of culture at the same time. So that is why the government of Meghalaya today is here. And as the Minister for Farmers, for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, I'm very, very happy to be here and I'm willing to take questions from all of you. Tell me what you want. What is your plan to improve tourism in Meghalaya? Because you lack love, infrastructure and everything is very bad. That is not true. I think you have not come to the state of Meghalaya for some time. The tourism infrastructure in the state of Meghalaya is unique in its own self. You cannot imagine that homestays, uh, natural trekking, uh, you know, uh, village visits, these are all part of our tour packages. And our infrastructure over the years has improved many, many times. Our roads are much better. One thing is that if you come to visit the state of Meghalaya as a tourist, there is safety, there is availability of all kinds of cuisines. We have vegetarian food, we have non-vegetarian food. People are very friendly. You have a people-friendly tourism section. So this is also something that the government of Meghalaya is now working on to improve. And it is not true that our infrastructure is poor. So how much are you spending on tourism promotion this year? I am not the Minister of Tourism. I have come here as a Minister of Agriculture, where we are showcasing our Mandarin from the state of Meghalaya alongside other products. You go to all the shops, you will see the various products that we have brought along with us. We also have pineapples, we have spices, we have um, all kinds, jams, uh, honey, turmeric. So these are all the items that you find in the state of Meghalaya. Very, very happy to be here to showcase all of this to the people of Bangalore, the state of Karnataka. This is a very good opportunity for India to unite as one. This is an integration program. So here we are having a lot of exposure, meeting the people of Bangalore, Karnataka, other states who are here. Very happy experience. This is what makes India so beautiful. How many hectares are you cultivating the, uh, this orange? Hectares of orange, we have the belt. We have the entire southern belt from across the state, covering about 9,000 hectares. 9,000 hectares. What is the growth, madam? Agriculture growth in Meghalaya? Yeah, you see, we have vegetables. We growth rate. The growth rate? Growth rate. Agriculture rate, 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 rate. What? Rate, rate. Agriculture growth rate. What do you mean by agriculture for growth? The percentage. Percentage. Eighty percent of the population of Meghalaya is dependent on agriculture as a main uh, uh, employment generation. So we engage eighty percent of the state of Meghalaya. Now we are showcasing, packaging processing our food items in a big way. The one unique thing about the state of Meghalaya is that we have natural farming practices. Large numbers of farmers are still uh, engaged in organic farming practices. Every year the government is now planning to reclaim not less than one lakh hectares for organic farming. This is 